chlorosorb. This not only removes the ammonia, ammonia chloramines and chlorine, but also copper, toxic metals. It takes out the eutrophication. I mean, this really hammers it down. Then the right now bacteria. Right now bacteria here has a five year shelf life, non refrigerated. And there's only 4.2 grams in here. You don't expose it to sunlight, because sunlight instantly kills it. As I asked, at 183, uh, 186,222 miles per second is the speed of light. Does anybody know the speed of dark? What do you do? Tell me, because I like to learn. <laughs> anyway, they'll, when they raffle it, these, these things will be, as a set, do it on a five gallon bucket. If our five gallon aquarium, you just need a power head above shooting across the surface. You need a little, you can have a hang on filter, you know, to put enough in there, and then that's it. You use 0.8 uh, pounds of carbon. So you have everything there. I didn't bring any pH rock, but uh, Richard can, you know, supply you with pH rock or anything else that you need. Now, right here at Coral and Live Rock Stimulator. You know how many times you've gone ahead and you have corals in there and sometimes they open up and sometimes they don't. All right, this will cloud the water. No doubt about it, my military mind, it will cloud the water. But what's nice about it is it will go ahead and you will see, you put it in and you turn off the water, stir it around, and within 10 to 20 seconds, you will see your corals, you'll see your anemones, Anything that's a cylinderata, open up. And you better have your food ready. This is not a food, and it'll just put it right in. If you have my right now bacteria in it, and be sure you always have plenty of air, you know what I mean, like a little power head above the water or something like that, you just can't have it splashing in because these, these overflow fi filters do not give enough DO into the water. It will also reduce your nitrates. It'll assist it. And the uh, you'll see your, your aquifer just start to you know come out. The uh, other product that I have is once in a while, not this one. Once in a while, uh, you get floating stuff in your aquarium, or like you have a phosphorus problem or something like that. You aren't using our products. You can put this in. This will cloud the water. Use it according to directions. And remember, if one teaspoon is good, only one teaspoon is good. You don't want to put any more in, okay? It's not anything like this. So when you do this, you'll cloud the water, you put it in at night, come the next morning, it'll be sparkling clear. It'll also take out the phosphorus out of your water. It'll also take out some other TSS in your water. Do you know what TSS is? Total suspended solids, and it'll also take out some total dissolved solids. So it works all three ways for it. Alrighty. The, uh, anyway, that's that's what I brought here. That's the end of it. You have any questions? Because I know that this is totally new to everybody that's been a reefer. Go ahead, ask them. Yes. The one that you're talking about that causes the polyps to open up on the coral side the coral. Rock stem. All of this, by the way, will be for on your, uh, you know, your uh, raffle. Right. So is that like a food in a sense? No, also, it's not or? a food. It's not a food. If you just did it, they'd open up, and then after a while they come back in. But if you use it and you have your food ready, that's the time to do it. And you should always feed your, your corals and stuff like that with the water off. And people go, well, why? Well, because it takes it immediately out into your filter. You know, you can put out a little timer. You can have it like 10 or 15 minutes. I do two hours. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just the idea they have to. What I usually do is I take a turkey baster, you know, whatever I'm going to do it, make them open up, and, oh, 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 and people go, oh, you're going to kill your tank. I go, okay. And then they come back the next month, and, oh, you're going to kill your tank. And it's the same ones, you know, they aren't dead yet. <laughs> so, all right, that's how the coral and live rock stem works. It's also, kind of like what we do not put on the label is if you have the red micro you will notice that, you know, it takes out, it does not kill the microalgae. 
All right, I want to make that clear. But it takes out the nutrients from the microalgae to subsist, and then it'll slowly go away. Any other questions? Don't worry, nobody's going to laugh at you. The only dumb question is the question I would ask. That's it? Yes. Well, thank you Any very questions? much. Question. The calculation that you put of 0 0.1667, yes. that's the calculation of how much carbon? Yes, per, depending yeah. on what it is. No, no, not per gallon. We'll go over that real quick for you. If you have a 10 gallon tank, you could have 0 0.1667, right? Okay, times 10. So how much, all you have to do is move the decimal point, how much would you put into your tank? 1.667. You can't get 667 because... 1.6. 1.5. Right. We'll just say a half, a pound and a half. 1.6 pounds. Yeah. Okay. That's it. If you had 100 gallons, how much would you put in? 16 pounds. 16, that's right. Now here's the nice thing about my carbon. People go, oh man, it's going to cost me a lot of carbon, it's going to be this and that. How long does it last? I've heard this so many times. And like I tell people, if you go ahead and you put in a lot of, you know, dirt, I've seen it in the environmental where a guy, they brought out something like two tons of carbon, and then they were supposed to have a screen that was supposed to catch all the debris, and they didn't, and they had mud flowing through the, you know, through the, uh, that, this is no fish. And immediately the carbon got plugged up. So how long did the car carbon last? Two or three minutes. Because it was completely clogged up. With this, we have another product we call Unstuck. You can put it in the best cloud of water. But what it does is it starts breaking <coughs> down the dirt out of the... It's somewhat similar to this, but it's a different compound. But it's, um, it breaks down the dirt and allows the bacteria to eat it. So it'll actually go into the, you know, the micropores, and it will actually get it out. It will not recharge your carbon, but it works. This will also, what's nice about this, this one, uh, is it will also help the uh, ammonia nitrites. It'll reduce those at the same time. Question? Yes? How much does your carbon generally go for? I don't sell the carbon directly. That, no, 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 this is, this is what it is. I sell it to a person. They have to, you know, they have to figure out their freight and everything yeah. like this. And then they have to do their markup. I never ask my distributors, well, what are you selling your carbon for or something like this? When I sell it to Florida, well, with how much freight they have. So Florida is going to be selling the carbon at a more higher price. Now, as an example, when you go into a store and say you go into Florida and you say, oh, such and such carbon is the same price. No, this is how they do it. So you understand. They take this carbon and they go, we'll say a UPS, and they say, okay, it's going to take you from here in California, it's going to, it's going to be 50 cents to get it to point A to point B. But in Florida, it's going to be $3 to point A to point B. So what they do is they take and they mark up all their carbon and then they add the three dollars on and then they tell the, the distributor, the store, we're paying for your freight. They are paying for the freight. What they're doing is just marking up the freight in there. When I ship it out, people there, whatever the cost of the carbon is and then the freight and we make no markup on the freight. I'm not trying to dodge your question and be honest with you. Fine. Okay, any other question? Yes? Uh, the bacteria is anaerobic. Uh, how can you put it into the fish bag without it completely coming up your fish? I couldn't hear you, sir. Uh, the bacteria is aerobic, right? Yes. You said you put it in bags for shipping. Good idea, because they do that. How does it not deplete the oxygen? What do they put in the bags with the fish? A lot the oxygen. Oxygen. The fish takes it up with the bacteria. Okay, oxygen, bacteria. correct. What is the percentage of oxygen versus nitrogen in our atmosphere? Yeah, I told you about 80, you know what I mean, 80, 20, right? Now you're going to a full what? Full O2. You're going to a full 100%. Uh, they've used this for years. You know, it's gone in there, the 